Hello, hello, I'm Patrick and I'm a sculptor. I make sculptures live on the internet and I've been thinking a lot about the relationship between art and time, particularly the idea of pace, your pace. Have you ever casually popped onto Instagram and been confronted with people more talented, more popular, or more successful? He says, clearly knowing that everyone has. If so, you may have started to wonder about your pace and the chances of catching up. So I made a turtle the other day and I thought I'd share that time lapse with you while I reflect on finding your own pace. Thinking about a turtle often draws me into the Aesop's fable of the tortoise and the hare. As I remember it, the fast braggy rabbit is challenged by the slow thoughtful tortoise, only for the rabbit to be rightfully braggy but also lazy and for far too relatable, very nap focused reasons. It's something of a humorous tale. It strikes as bizarre and aims to challenge the relationship between natural talent and persistent effort. And while I suspect there's a whole lot we could reflect on there, when I started thinking about this turtle I was making, this story, and the idea of pace, I came across an intriguing origin to this tale. Before I get too deeply into that, I want to take a moment and think about my pace. I often find myself looking up, bringing my head above the creative waters into the open air of Instagrams and Etsy shops, the hashtags show me other artists making more impressive things with greater followings and by accounts, more success than me. And it's in these moments that I get caught up in the inevitable vacuum that is the gap between them and I. It's a cruel gap that doesn't allow for much good. Folks are better, more successful, more popular, and in every way possible, it's inevitable that I will find countless, speedier hairs on my journey as a lowly tortoise. And sometimes I can only wish that they would take a nap. And it's here that the absurdity of the story of the tortoise and hare is critical to point out. The story is very similar to a philosophical problem of Achilles and the tortoise established by Zeno of Alea. The problem is put forward as such. Achilles, in his kindness, offers the tortoise the chance at a head start in a race. And so the tortoise begins to move. And in the vacuum of philosophical thought, Achilles can never catch up. The essential argument is this, that the tortoise will always be moving and Achilles will always be catching up. And while Achilles can catch up to where the tortoise was, the tortoise is still always moving ahead, resulting in an endless pattern of following behind the tortoise and always catching where it was, not where it is. And here's the thing. In some races, people have a head start. To me, this is the way I've learned to approach my pace and the comparison to others. There will always be people ahead of me. There will always be gaps between where I am and where they are. And there may even be times where I feel like I've been lapped or surpassed in ways I couldn't have thought. And this is the danger of the comparison world, of art, or just the world in general, I suppose. The rules are different for everyone. The context, the moment, the factors, they don't exist in status. So you begin and things go well, or you work hard and things don't quite take off, or when you look around and feel left behind or out of pace with the world around you, I can tell you the reasons are complicated and they aren't always in your control. So allow me to suggest something. Your pace is sufficient. It may be slow, it may be slower than you want, if we all feel that, but you cannot move faster than your pace. It's okay to acknowledge that you move in your way, at your speed, in your own time. It's okay to take a few extra hours to study. It's okay to work a few days more on a project. It's okay to give yourself a break and realize that your best is the best. And that best, whatever it may be, is truly wonderful. Let that sink in. Your contribution is wonderful. So the next time you find yourself caught in the comparison game and worrying about your pace, remember the tortoise, not because the hair napped, because in some races, people have a head start. Run your race at your pace. Hey, let's take a look at this turtle and I'll be back after the final reveal.
What do you do to help yourself maintain a healthy attitude about your pace? How do you fight the comparison game? Let me know what you do in the comments below. I'm sure it would be a help to me and to others trying to make their own way in the world. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe button. Are there things you think I should reflect on next? And what do you think about the style of video? I'm experimenting here with this sort of do the work and then reflect about, you know, trying to be an artist kind of project. Um, let me know if you like that. Uh, and of course, friends, till next time, keep being awesome.